But we'll take her re-election campaign to voters today with several stops. She officially announced her bid for a second term yesterday. Eric Rung has the story. Good morning. The mayor has five campaign stops today after she opened her campaign with a fundraiser last night. We all knew it was coming, but yesterday, Mayor Lori Lightfoot told Chicago she wants to keep her job. We have a lot of work to do because change just doesn't happen overnight. But together, we will make our city safer, fairer, and more equitable for all. She opened her campaign with a fundraiser at a fancy River North spot. Political analyst Charles Thomas isn't surprised she opened her bid for re-election by asking for money. That she's an incumbent doing it this long before the election is an indication to me that she's desperate for money. She wants to put the arm on some donors now while she's mayor, make some promises, make some deals again to raise some money. Five others are already looking to take her job. Businessman Willie Wilson, Alderman Raymond Lopez, State Rep Cam Buckner, former CPS CEO and City Budget Director Paul Vallis, and Alderman Roderick Sawyer. Many focusing on the mayor's handling of violence and crime. She has a crime problem downtown and on the near north side, the West Loop and the South Loop. Those people vote. Those people are very concerned about security in their neighborhoods. Once an outsider, the re-election campaign will test the mayor's ability to stay on message. She's become known for her confrontational style and occasional gaffes. I think her style has worked against her, the profanity, the, the outbursts. She's been in several shouting matches with members of the city council, some on the council floor. That's what we need to hear from you. Not a plan that is going to be discussed after the fact. You are plan. out of order and you are lying. On the eve of her re-election announcement, the mayor said those charged with violent crimes are guilty before adding they are in fact entitled to the presumption of innocence. Still, it's a campaigning and governing style she seems to own. Look, I get it. I don't look or sound like any other mayor we've ever had before. Her first event is scheduled at a restaurant in Ashburn shortly before 9 o'clock this morning. We're in the newsroom. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.